Testing, testing, one, two, and the trois, Ichinisan. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, whew, very exciting video, as we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Logitech G923 racing wheel. Guys, I'm so excited, and thank you so much to Logitech for sponsoring the channel and providing us the gear. They are awesome. Guys, do remember that we just did the unboxing over the weekend, or last weekend it will be, of the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept with the awesome sensors that can track your face, your eyes, your heart, everything. Oh my God, it's crazy. And then of course, we also did the unboxing of the ZBook G7 Fury, and we also plugged in the HP Reverb G2 version 2 inside of it to do a test. So go and check out those videos. And guys, whew, Guys, go to the link description below also after this video to enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP as well as a brand new Cyber Shoes with the gaming station, Cyber Carpet and everything that goes with it. And the third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars to redeem against any VR app on any stall that you want. It will be completely up to you as to how you spend the money. Whew. All right, guys, so let's do this. Let me uh, get the scissors and everything, and then together we will do the unboxing. Now, I will also do, of course, some superimposing images with some nice close-up shots using a 5D Mark II at 4K resolutions. Oh, but man, I'm so excited to be trying this racing wheel. We did do a video on the channel about why I didn't use a racing wheel, but I was so thankful that when I contacted Logitech to ask them if they could sponsor us. I told them you have to back this awesome community. And well, it took a while. It wasn't easy. I'll tell you that. But at the end of the day, they agreed. And guys, thanks to you, they are sponsoring us the G29. Oh, here it is. All right. All right, so this we can throw away. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. This is thanks to your support. Look at this. Look at this, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Really awesome. So let's check out what's inside of the box first. Oh, man, I'm so excited. It's crazy. Really crazy. So much unboxing in the last few days. And of course, subscribe to the channel. So we're going to be doing content with Automobilista 2, Aceta Corza Competizione, and also various other racing apps. So yeah, plenty that we're going to be doing. And of course, I'm going to need a few days to get used to this stuff. So, so this is what's in the box. Let me show you first. As you can see, it's all nicely wrapped up inside in plastic for protection. And after you finally, after you, you use your stuff, I highly recommend you put a cloth or some plastic over it to make sure that you maintain your equipment, whether it's your VR headset, your controllers, or any accessories, because the dust is really what can cause a lot of more damage inside of your headset. So first that we have, and I won't be taking it out in order, I will be doing superimposing of various shots, guys. We have the pedals. Here we go, look at this. So we have the pedals here. Look at this, guys. Really nice. This material is plastic, but it doesn't feel like soft plastic. And the pedals are pretty, wow. Yeah, definitely a lot of spring in here. A lot of spring, so I'm going to be putting it through its paces, guys. And uh, yeah, it's uh, really cool. And then here it has a USB. Uh, it has um, have to put in in something or other, which I'll find out where to put it in. So yeah, very cool, very very nice. Oh, it's very very cool. Here we have, I think, I think this is the power adapter. If I'm not wrong. It looks like it, guys. It's a power cord. And then this is the box to the power. So I'm pretty sure that's the power adapter. Then we have a compartment that's empty. Some stickers. 
And then finally, wow, we have the wheel, guys. This is the wheel. This is it. Ooh. I'm going to have to maybe get another table to put it on. Ooh. Wow, this is a heavy beast. Wow, look at this, guys. Here it is. Here it is. And we're going to talk about all the specs of this thing, of course. And guys, we're not, we don't actually get any kickbacks from them, and we're not paid by them, just to let you know. So they're sponsoring us, the equipment, but there's no, you know, I'm, I'm always very honest with my reviews, right? Like, for example, for the HP Reverb G2, I've always told you that the controllers are not that great, and I'm really hoping that HP will change the controllers. So I'm always very honest with my reviews. So I just wanted you to know that. And also, we don't get a kickback from HP either. These guys sponsor us the actual equipment, okay? So my first impression, well, this is plastic, but it's hard plastic. It looks like a car, which is pretty cool. I really like that. So as you can tell, superimposing some shots there. Looks like the front of a car looks pretty cool. Really, really neat. And then we have the gears here to change the gears, which is, this is made of metal. Uh, it feels a bit like soft metal, to be honest, but hopefully it'll be okay. And you can hear the clicking sound when you change the gears. And then the steering wheel smells like leather. I'm not sure if it is leather. I'll ask um, Logitech, but it does smell like good leather quality. It smells like a proper, proper steering wheel. And then, of course, we have all the buttons on the front as well. So this is pretty awesome. It looks really cool, guys. It just looks really, really awesome, really amazing. And then underneath, we have the cables to plug somewhere or other, and I'll find out where to plug it in, so that's not an issue. And then we also have the um, clamps so that we can basically put it onto something. So I'll do that. I'm going to cut the video now. Let's talk about the specs a little bit first. And then after, we'll actually set it up on my desk, and I'll show you what it actually looks like. But I might actually have to get an extension to my desk because, of course, it's going to take some room. So let's uh, cut the video and talk about the specs now. All right, so if we go to the Logitech's website and we look at the G923 racing wheel specs, first of all, you'll see that it's $699 now. This is possible. It is Singapore dollars and not US dollars. Uh, and then the other thing is, now I do confirm that the wheel is actually made out of leather. So that is actually very cool because it does smell very nice, I have to admit. And also it is compatible with a whole heap of different racing car sims, which I'll go through in just a moment. If we just go to the specifications very quickly. Uh, so it is compatible with a PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 system, a game that supports Logitech 4's feedback racing wheel. For the requirements of the PC, uh, we're looking at Windows 11 or Windows 10. 150 megabytes available hard disk space is required and also USB 2.0 port game that supports logitech false feedback racing wheel uh, for the package content so you have the steering wheel the pedals the power supply and the documentation and the weight by the way without the cables is 2.25 kg so just in case you wanted to know about this this is for the wheel itself but for the pedals however it's 3.1 kg and i will put it up i will set it up i might actually have to bring my desk on this side instead of that side. So do watch until the end of the video for the final setup inside of the studio. In terms of wheel technical specifications, we're looking at a rotation of 900 degrees, lock to lock, hall effect steering sensor, dual motor force feedback with true force and overheat safeguard. For the pedal technical specifications, we're looking at non-linear brake pedal, Patented carpet grip system, textures, textured, sorry, heel grip and self calibrate calibrating, sorry, so self calibrating. Uh, for the materials, we're looking at wheel spokes, anodized aluminium, wheel covered hand stitched leather, as I just mentioned, so it's stitched leather. Um, steering shaft is steel, so do make sure maybe to 
put some uh, special uh, coating on it so that it doesn't rust to keep it safeguarded for future use. Uh, shifter pedals are brushed stainless steel, however, uh, for the multi claps glass filled nylon. Pedal frames and arms cold rolled steel and pedal faces, sorry, pedal faces brushed stainless steel and the pedal piston sleeves are polyoxy methylene thermos plastic or POM. So there you go. And the warranty information, by the way, is a two year limited hardware warranty, not one year. So that is pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually build the actual thing and put it on the table. It's actually very easy to put on. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how it looks like in my final setup. All right, let's do this. All right, so guys, basically what we've done is rearranged the entire studio. Let me just give you a little tour and then I'll try my best not to move the camera too much. So beforehand, the actual desk was over there by the door on the wall there on the left hand side. And then now we've brought everything here basically. So let me just uh, change that, there we go. And yeah, so we put the wheel here and then we've also made some room here, took off all the shelving on the side of the desk so we could make room for the actual pedals that we put here. So everything looks very, very cool, nice and neat. Should be good. And by the way, I have reached out to a couple of studios of companies that specialize in racing chair cage setups. So that should be good if they get back to us. And then maybe what we could do is we can basically, you know, set it up a little bit more authentically. So it looks professional and everything. That'll be really, really awesome. But KIV for that, I can't confirm if it's going to happen or not. So for the moment, we'll do this. All right, let's do a power turn on very quickly. Let me just move this and then let me bring the chair, the camera here. There we go. By the way, to set up, it was extremely easy to do. Didn't really have much to do, to be honest with you. I just had to plug in a couple cables. So I don't think there's any need to show you how to do that. But basically what would happen is uh, I imagine I would have to open up one of the SIM car games and then I just plug in the USB at the back of the computer and then let's see what happens. Ooh, there we go. So basically auto calibrating. So that's pretty cool. So that basically tells me, I guess that it's on. There doesn't seem to be any lights of any kind to warn me as to whether it's on or not. Oh yes, there is. I can see a small LED just here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically it's here. So here there's a little LED, a little green LED to tell me that basically it's on. Whew. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go inside of one of the sim games and try it out. Make sure that it's working and everything. And then what I will do is I will actually do another filming with, you know, the unboxing and everything that goes with it. And uh, yeah, so very excited. Logitech again, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone on the channel for, for your support, for your views, your likes, your comments, your interactivity, your awesomeness, because it is thanks to you that at the end of the day, we have the racing wheel in the studio and also the G7 Fury that came and the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept version two and the Omnicept edition as well that came into the studio. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much guys for your support to the VO Essentials YouTube channel. Guys, I'll see you in the comments below. Do remember that you can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP as well as the Cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber chair, the carpet, and everything that goes with it. And the third winner will also get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any VR app that you want on any store whatsoever. It will be completely up to you. All right, I'll see you in the comments below and in another video very soon. See you guys. Take it easy. Ciao.